Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you top 10 amazing all new 2024 adventure, sport touring, scooter and street fighter motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Honda has been on a roll off late. Not with new motorcycles, but with some mind-bending patent filings. One of these revealed a self-balancing tech for the Goldwing, while the other included a never-seen-before jump control electronic aid, the latest instance, however, might be the most interesting, as it shows Honda's plans to supercharge its flagship ADV, the Africa Twin, let's dive in. When you think of superchargers and motorcycles, the mind instantly wanders off to the Kawasaki Ninja H2, it's the only mass-produced supercharged motorcycle you can buy and primarily focuses on peak engine performance. But Honda's plan for the Africa Twin is a tad different, the patents, sourced by trusted Japanese site Young Machine, show the bike maker has whipped up a twin-screw supercharger instead of the centrifugal unit on the Kawasaki. Why, you ask? Well, because a twin-screw setup runs directly at the engine speed, this not only enables a wide spread of torque right from the lower end of the revs but also omits a lag since it has a direct drive, this can prove detrimental for an adventure motorcycle like the Africa Twin, especially when you're off-roading and need instant torque to power through obstacles or just slide around, in contrast, the centrifugal supercharger prioritizes high-end power and needs considerably higher revs to produce the boost, for instance, the Ninja H2 supercharger works best at a whopping 130,000 RPM. Towards New Horizons, TRK702X is one versatile, agile and easy-to-handle adventure, designed to tackle any type of route, both on asphalt and off-road and built to be able to embark on new and exciting adventures. Passion, freedom and fun in a single motorcycle, whatever road you decide to take and without setting limits to your desire to travel. TRK702X is in fact a mature motorcycle, ideal for those who want a solid, authentic and easy-to-use two-wheeler. A motorcycle capable of guaranteeing optimal performance without ever putting the rider in difficulty at the same time, developed by the Randy Department and the Benelli Style Center to expand the range of the Casa del Leoncino's adventure bikes, entering the medium engine range. The design of the Benelli TRK702X stems from the need to evolve the concepts introduced with the new TRK range consolidating and making the most characteristic stylistic elements recognizable, transforming them into stylistic features proper to the family. Elements such as the headlight with double LED module set in the iconic structure of the goggle or like the design of the tank, made of metal in the area in contact with the rider's legs, to have the minimum size and allow maximum freedom of movement, without penalizing the capacity of the tank, of no less than 20 liters. Another distinctive trait of the new Benelli TRK702X, shared with the other newcomers in the range, are the rear handles generous but perfectly integrated into the profile of the vehicle, long-limbed, to offer maximum comfort also to the passenger and at the same time giving a very important stylistic element, going to define the rear end of the bike. The new Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio is about to arrive. Historical name for the House of Mandelo, the Stelvio 2023 is based on the technical platform of V100 Mandelo, but differs in a more off-road attitude, with tubeless rims and longer travel suspension. His return had been communicated to ICMA 2022 directly by the manufacturer, without however specifying the exact timing. A few months ago, then, the first Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio specimens were already photographed on the road. Those spy shots, which you see in the gallery of this article, came from Nawali, the city where Aprilia is based, and where the new Piaggio group models are usually tested. Now the German colleagues from Motorrad have published new photos of the V100 Stelvio, which allow us to better see some details of the bike. 
cards. The most interesting novelty that immediately catches the eye is the introduction of the radar in the front, here the photo, which will be used to manage a series of new electronic aids, such as adaptive cruise control or a danger warning system or even emergency braking, present for example on the new Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus, here is our proof. Also confirmed the presence of the rear radar, here the photo, positioned between the license plate and the tail, this second device will be used to warn the driver, with an LED integrated in the rearview mirror, that a vehicle is oncoming and is approaching the blind spot. Also confirmed are the tubeless spoked rims of the new Stelvio, photo here, which had already been shown at ICMA, respectively in the 120-70-19 and 170-60-17 sizes, which let us understand that the bike will have a soul devoted to off-road. Twenty twenty four Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL 750 Transalp, certifying the mid sized adventure tourer for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW or 1300 GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle. Com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing, but it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. First officially appeared at the EICMA show in 2022. The new XL 750 Transalp is based on a 755 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lb-ft of torque at 7,250 rpm. The XADV has broken new ground with its unique mix of adventure bike ability and big scooter usefulness and practicality. Its rich specification includes throttle by wire management, for default riding modes and three-level Honda selectable torque control. The 22L seat storage compartment includes a USB-C charger while a glove box adds further convenience. Twin LED headlights feature daytime running lights and a 5-inch TFT display allows smartphone connectivity via the Honda smartphone voice control system. The XADV's unique head-turning styling, conceived and developed by Honda's Rand D team in Italy, evolved for 21YM to become slimmer and sharper, the silhouette deliberately upright, with each body panel honed with strong intent. Dual LED headlights feature daytime running lights DRL, that automatically adjust to ambient light intensity and give a bright, highly visible light improving safety. All lighting is LED. In terms of ergonomics, the 820mm seat height, shaped for easy ground reach, and wide handlebar set at 910mm ensure a high eye point, giving great visibility. For commuting or touring, the XADV screen adjusts without tools through five positions from low to high to maximize or minimize airflow. The total height difference is 139 mm, with an 11 degrees rate between the highest and lowest points. Incorporated into the XADV's rider interface and viewed through the 5-inch TFT display is the Honda Smartphone Voice Control System HSVCs, which links the rider to their smartphone while on the move and allows voice management of phone calls, email, music and navigation.
On the outside, it gets a colorway reminiscent of Cervantes' competition bike from 2022. Dominant colors are matte phantom black, matte graphite, and crystal white. It also features accents in racing yellow, along with Triumph Tiger and Aragon Edition decals. A two-tone seat design is also a new feature on this machine. In addition to the graphics, the Rally Aragon Edition also gets special show of forks that Triumph says are tuned for even greater off-road performance, although it doesn't give specific details on that tuning. It also gets fuel tank protection bars, while both the Rally Aragon Edition and the GT Aragon Edition also get engine protection bars, as well. The GT Aragon Edition features a Diablo Red, Matte Phantom Black, and Crystal White colorway, along with the Triumph Tiger and Aragon Edition graphics also found on the Rally Edition. The GT Edition also gets fully adjustable 1.8-inch upside-down Marzaki cartridge forks with an electronically adjustable rear suspension unit. Pricing and Availability Pricing and availability will vary by geographic region. In the US, the 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 Rally Aragon Edition will be available toward the end of July at an MSRP of $16,995. Meanwhile, the 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 GT Aragon Edition will also be available toward the end of July, at an MSRP of $16,495. In Canada, both bikes will also begin rolling into dealerships toward the end of July. The Tiger 900 Rally Aragon Edition will start at $19,795 Canadian dollars, The 2024 BMW F900XR BMW is famous for its super stylish and highly efficient bikes. BMW unveiled its new adventure bike, F900XR 2024, expected to be launched in 2023. It will be available in three colors racing red, black with black storm metallic, and light white. BMW F900XR 2024 will be powered by an 895 cubic centimeters engine that develops a power of 99 horsepower and 67 foot-pounds of torque. It will have a fuel tank capacity of 15.5 liters. BMW F900XR 2024 will be a six-speed gearbox, a slipper clutch, and a final chain drive. ABS, automatic stability control, and rain and road ride modes are standard, as are adjustable brake and clutch hand levers and a 6.5-inch TFT display. The dimension of the F900XR 2024 is 2160mm in length, 860mm in width, and overall height is 1320mm, and a 1521mm wheelbase. The curb weight is 219 kilograms. BMW F900XR 2024 comes with a combined braking system of both wheels and front and rear disc brakes. BMW F900XR 2024 offers a fully digital instrument console with an eco indicator, real-time fuel efficiency, gear position indicator, a service reminder, an LED headlamp, and a tail lamp. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm The new Suzuki GSXS 1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki versus 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSXS 1000T. It would sit between the GSXS 1000 and the GSXS 1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. Yeah, I just wanna be great. Yeah, I just wanna be great. We say this because the first ever spy shots of the ADV tourer have now surfaced on the internet revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. 
While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. Unlike the naked, the T flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top fairing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX-S1000 GT and feature an all-new shape to set it out from the rest. Also, there's no lower cowl here, as seen on the GT. Other than this, a closer look reveals a new headlight and windscreen. The former has vertically stacked LEDs, reminiscent of the GSX-S1000, while the latter appears to be an all-new unit with manual adjustability. All this time, the latter half of the motorcycle looks exactly like the GT, thanks to the puny exhaust and chunky tail panels. The only addition is the aluminum luggage rack. Like the design, Suzuki has tweaked the riding posture as well. Triumph has been having a busy July. The company has just unveiled the 2024 versions of the Tiger 850 Sport and the Tiger Sport 660, just a few days after the global debut of the Speed 400 and the Scrambler 400X. For 2024, the British brand has tried to keep the Tiger 850 Sport and Tiger Sport 660 fresh and relevant by giving them new colors. The 850 cubic centimeters ADV Tour will also be sold in a graphite jet black paint scheme. Currently, the bike is offered in graphite Diablo Red. The Tiger Sport 660, on the other hand, gets two new paint schemes, Snowdonia White and Jet Black and the more expensive Jet Black and Graphite. Mechanically, both bikes remain unchanged. The mechanical specifications of the Tiger Sport 660 include a 660 cubic centimeters, inline three-cylinder, liquid-cooled motor. Linked to a six-speed transmission, the engine delivers 80 brake horsepower at 10,250 rpm and 64 newton-meters of peak torque at 6,250 rpm. The bigger Tiger is powered by an 888 cubic centimeters, inline three-cylinder engine which makes 84 brake horsepower at 8, 500 rpm and 82 newton meters of torque at 6,500. We expect Triumph India to launch these bikes later this year with a marginal bump in the X showroom price. The bookings are likely to commence from the start of the festive season. Triumph Tiger 850 Sport 2024 is an upcoming motorcycle expected to be launched in 2023. It will be available in graphite, Caspian blue, and Diablo red colors. Meanwhile, his refined seven-spoke cast wheels and a set of upgraded Brembo, his calipers sharpen the chassis. Weight reduction also seems to be a build priority, as Betsy employs carbon fiber front rear tire guards, exhaust tips, cylinder cover inserts, radiator shrouds and side body panels. A matte silver base symbolizes neutrality. From the appearance of the Moto Guzzi V100 Sport Strata 2024, you can feel the commitment to the commercial model tubular steel lattice frame and cantilever swing arm, while red accents complement the packaging. Of course, his standard V100 Mandela is eye-catching in and of itself, but we don't blame Moto in producing a Neo Retro based on a sports tour. The rest of the body also blends tradition with modernity, incorporating elements such as the fuel tank gill and digital dashboard into the overall traditional design. Naturally, the V100 Sport Strata does away with springs for the passenger pegs and rear set in order to live up to its sporting ambitions. Previously, we already talked about the appearance of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio, which is built based on the current V100 Mandelo. The spy photo of the new Stelvio taking a road test indicate that this new Moto Guzzi S bike is ready for mass production. And recently, a designer Oberden Betsy made a concept of the new Moto Guzzi V100 Sport Strata which is also built based on the current V100 Mandelo. It is powered by the compact block engine of the V100 Mandelo, a 90-degree transversal V-twin of 1,042 cubic centimeters. 
but looks like a nasty and sporty naked.